What's up, YouTube? Um, my original intention was to film this on my $300 camera in HD. However, it had other plans when it decided to die on me. So you got to, uh, you know, just bear with me and deal with another bullshit-ass webcam video for the time being. Okay? This video has all to do about, um, you know, me going into the service. All right? It's something I've been anticipating and eager to happen for a long time now, okay? Um, but you have to understand that you're on the military's time, especially if you're in a situation like me, whereas you are in RTC, you're, you're contracted on scholarship, and you made an agreement that if you didn't finish, you'd enlist, all right? So I understood what I was getting to. I understood the agreement that I was making. I understood... Um, the decision that I was making. And as a grown man, it was one of the first real decisions I ever had to make for myself. Um, it was maybe a little far-fetched. I mean, if I had to do it all over again, I would have probably straight out of high school went to the military, okay? Rather than go with the RTC route. I had no idea about officership um, or what even RTC was about. I was in JVC in high school. Um, I understood the military and enlisted personnel. But I had no idea about the whole officer side of things, okay? At the time, I understood that I had one of two options. I could find a way to stay in school, or I could find a way to get my ass out of school, okay? And the latter was a lot easier than the, uh, the former, okay? So I decided, hey, I'm going to bust my ass, you know. I was labeled the whole, the whole uh, label super cadet, um... You know, I, I busted my ass, did what I had to do. I got on scholarship, went to field training at my first semester, which is, you know, personal, perfectly reasonable. A lot of people do it, okay? Um, if you got paperwork done and everything, you're fine, you're good to go. Um, I looked into other uh, aspects of it, such as going to, uh, you know, being in the band. I had played a couple instruments in my life, nothing very well. I was going to bust my ass and do that too, um, but at the time they weren't offering any scholarships, especially um, in the time frame in which I needed it. The Air Force, if I would have gotten on scholarship, I got on scholarship for that semester, okay? So that money, that semester was going to be, be paid off, all right? So I went to field training, everything, came back in my junior year, and I was in my uh, first semester of my senior year, and it just started spiraling downhill. I was commuting getting in accidents, falling asleep on the road, um, I got in an accident, had to go get the paperwork from it, missed an exam that my professor wasn't going to allow me to make up, so in essence I was going to fail that class. Um, I had to do classes all over the summer to, uh, to get a position where I'd graduate on time, and then another course, um, an internship I took wasn't going to be accepted. Um, even though I was fired from the internship, I was going to use it, okay? And um, but I was fired from it. Um, but either way, the professor wasn't going to accept it, and the only time I would have had uh, time to do an internship was over that following summer, which meant I wouldn't have graduated. The mine I had picked, um, you know, the professor was never there. Only Tuesdays and Thursdays, certain times, uh, you know, only like the fall semester, and I had signed up for it in the spring semester. And I mean, it was just a bunch of uh, a bunch of bullshit going on, okay? So, got out of RTC, got out of college, that wasn't going to be able to afford it, so it's no point, okay? Um, I intend on going back one day and getting my degree. You know, it's not something I'm just going to give up on, okay? I was damn near done. But, got out, so here I am. I've been waiting for almost three years now to go into the service, alright? And I finally got a letter saying that I needed interactive duty within 60 days, alright? Um, the first thing I'd heard from the Air Force in all this time besides getting my disenrollment papers. Um, so, that with that said, I have no, no reservations at all about going into the military. Um, I attempted to try to go to the Army. That didn't work out. However, you know, it seems as though this can be a much more streamlined process because it's happening pretty much headquarters. They have uh, a lot of paperwork already on file for me. So I don't have to necessarily go through MEPS and all that. Um, I've already been in MEPS for the Army, so all of my, you know, a lot of things should be able to transfer, so I don't have to redo it. 
and hopefully that's what um uh, that's what's gonna happen, okay? Because who in the hell feels like sitting down maps for an eighth time to have to start the whole process all over again? Not me, not I, not for that shit. All right, um, I'm I'm eager about it. You know, I'm not a jump up and down type of guy. You know what I mean? Um, but I I am extremely excited. You know, one of the best you know things that ever happened in my life was on the field training. Um, it helped to inspire myself. Um, it helped me to realize the confidence that I had and the self assurance. Um, that I could have and which I possessed and it brought some of the best qualities which I have to the forefront alright um, and I'm and anticipating that's what BMT is going to be like I'm not afraid of people jumping in my face, down in my face um, you know I went to field training and it's I'm guessing it's going to be something sort of like that it's definitely not going to be um, they're not gonna, I don't think they're going to be checking for your decision making process as much as your adaptability to being told what to do okay that's the big difference which I'm expecting um so you know um, I can't wait to go um, I spoke to a sergeant from personnel from a uh, enlisted sessions sessions um, and she said you know she could project me as early as end of July and that has to do with I have a court date pending on July 3rd from a traffic incident um, but once that's all said and done, you know, it's just a matter of picking a time and date in which I ship. Um, I go to a recruiter sometime this week to speak with him to get all the things that they need. Like, I have tattoos, okay? This tattoo right here, it, it sticks out. The numbers stick out right here below, uh, you know, short sleeve blouse. So, um... You know they have to okay that and make sure that all the tattoos are okay. But I've already done all of that for the army, so hopefully that'll be transferable to the air force. I took a physical about a year ago for when I was trying to process for the army, so hopefully that's still good. I don't have to redo a physical or anything. And um, you know, aside from that, you know everything should be golden. And hopefully, you know, about a month's time, month and a half, I should be hopping on a plane, going down to Lackland or wherever they're going to send me for basic. And, um, you know, after that, I'm at God's mercy and see where it goes. What I, what I hope to do is security forces, okay? Um, maybe combat controller, but I was trying to position myself to get a, a, an, a, an officer position in something similar, you know, the uh, LEAs on officers, so I was training for that, but the swimming really fucked me up. Okay, um, I can swim for recreational purposes and for fun, but as far as getting in a pool and swimming, you know, whether it's a 50 meter pool, 10 laps, or a 25 meter pool, 20 laps, um, that shit ain't gonna happen. I got a, I got a solid lower body, and it seems to want to sink, um, regardless of whether I'm tightening up my core. When I kick, it does nothing, okay? And I think I'm just not, you know, very uh, hydrodynamic or whatever it may be. Um, so, uh, that may be out the window. But security force is what I originally wanted for uh, my AFSC for when I was uh, in ROTC, and that's what I asked for. I didn't get it. I got logistics readiness, which is a desk job, which not my cup of tea, okay? I've always been interested in police work, and um, if I can do that in a military capacity, I would love it, all right? So that's my whole take on me going to the military, what I'm expecting, what I'm anticipating, and uh, you know how I just generally feel about it. Um, I know I may not seem enthusiastic, but I really am, you know? Um, concerns? I don't really have too many concerns, okay? So... I mean, maybe something will come up along the lines. Um, concerns I have, well, one concern I have is I got a couple bad teeth, and I'm wondering how they're going to approach that at basic. I don't know that's really work on all of it. Um, so we'll see how it goes, okay? Aside from that, I don't really have too many problems uh, or concerns. So Questions, comments, your concerns, let me know. Put them on here. Subscribe, like always. And, uh, yeah.